Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province's Disaster Basic Income Payment Plan for provincial residents was passed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. Accordingly, the province will make its third disaster basic income payment to those who were excluded from the central government's disaster support. The application period for Kyungi's third disaster basic income payment begins on October 1st, and the payment must be used this year. Kyungi Province has selected Gomochan of Pochon City and Ipamchan of Yangju City for the province's Clean River Project following a competition among 14 cities and counties of the province. The selected local rivers will be developed so as to improve flood control and create eco-friendly rest areas. Quality agricultural products of Kyungi Province are finding new markets in department stores. Recently, the province secured the cooperation of a department store chain in the opening of Kyungi rice shops and food corners. The province will continue to pursue policies to expand mutually beneficial ventures between farmers and enterprises through various endeavors. The Kyungi Do Fire Services recently staged emergency management skill training so as to better prepare for disasters in terms of environmental changes and site-specific contingencies. With more than 150 officials participating, including emergency support teams of the Kyungi Do Fire Services, this disaster training session also featured equipment for the rest and recovery of participating personnel. Beginning with this session, the Kyungi Do Fire Services plans to conduct a total of four training sessions in different provincial regions through to next month. The Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services has introduced a DIY online healing farm program that offers contactless healing farm experiences. This program will run in tandem with online school classes so as to relieve students from COVID-19 related stress while helping to increase farmer income. Kyungi Province will expand its Apartment Guard Rest Facility Improvement Support Program to include 60 more apartment complexes. The objective of this program is to ensure the right to rest for apartment guards in the province through support for the improvement of their rest facilities. To date, 28 apartment complexes have completed such improvements through provincial support with 60 more to be added via application-based selection. Jointly with the cities of Yongin and Sangnam, Kyungi Province has launched a consultation body to help settle a dispute between the two cities regarding the expansion and reopening of the Kogi Bridge. This consultation body will undertake discussions regarding the prevention of sprawling development and the improvement of traffic in the vicinity of the bridge so as to help resolve related issues and encourage cooperation between these two cities that share ownership of the bridge. In cooperation with the two cities, Kyungi Province will pursue arbitration of the Gogi Bridge dispute through relevant consultations for the realization of a mutually beneficial settlement by December. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.